First thing, I wanted to get some live bait, so I went straight to there find is, my sir. pinfish trap. Oh yeah, a lot of good bait. Right. Well, not a ton, but enough. You can see the road I launched the kayak from on the left side of the screen there. And I was going to kayak down to the middle of the screen where you'll see a little grass flat and a little cove there, right in the middle. When there's a stiff north wind, the redfish and trout tend to stack up in there chasing bait fish that get blown in. I had a lot of pilchards left over from an offshore trip the day before, so I started to formulate a plan. I started tossing out handfuls of pilchards as I went by the grass flat so that north wind would carry them right into the area where the fish should be. So as I drifted across the flat there, I was hoping that those pilchards would get pushed down by the wind and work those fish into a frenzy. That way, I could put a live pinfish on a popping cork and toss it right into the middle of those fresh dead pilchards and not having to worry about spooking the fish when I pull up into the reeds to wait on a fish to bite. It's only about a foot and a half to two foot deep there, so you gotta be very careful about spooking the fish, so I didn't wanna get close. So I just wanted to cast out to the north edge of that grass flat and let the wind bring the pinfish and my popping cork back towards the shoreline. And it didn't take long at all. Throw this out there on the popping cork. It worked. My plan worked. Wow. I better go chase this sucker. heck is that? Man. It ain't small. Ooh. What? Or is this a big catfish? This big stupid catfish? God, I hope not. Oh, holy cow, what is that? Big red, yep, it's a big red. Oh, it's a good one. Yep, that's a good one. Oh, this may put me on the board at Stinky's. 
Yes. Uh. Woo. Got to love it when a plan works. Damn. That wasn't coming out. Now, let's measure and see. It's a big old fat sucker. Oh yeah, he's legal. <laughs> 